Hi Faye, so I wanted to really catch up with you after you have your first series as an ODI Wicket Keeper and um, stepping in for Lizal Lee as well and I mean it was quite big for boots to fill um, but how's it been, how's your debut been? I think the ODI was definitely a lot more relaxed than the T20s. I think uh, the T20s I went into a very high pressure situation uh, especially my most recent T20 series in the World Cup there was sort of high pressure I really had to full big Tuesday because I was that was Trish Chetty but uh, I think the ODI series it was a little bit more relaxed I had a bit more um, experience behind me so it was a lot easier to get into the feel of things and get the feel of the team and the vibe and that sort of things um, yeah but I think I enjoyed it a lot more because I wasn't stressing so much about my performance more sort of just focusing on how I can contribute to the team and yeah those sort of things so it was a little bit less stressful. So to the audience out there that don't know who you are, um, just give them a small background about how you started, how you became a wicket keeper as well, because it's quite a specialist position. Yeah. Um, initially in school, actually, I started wicket keeping because I enjoyed it. I enjoyed um, diving. <laughs> but then now I'm starting to learn that you need to dive as little as possible as a wicket keeper. Um, I actually started in school. I was playing with the boys okay. and they said, who wants to become a wicket keeper? And I said, oh, I'll give it a go. And I sort of enjoyed it there. And then I went to become a bowler at under 19 level and then there was also a gap there for wiki keeping so I started there and then it sort of grew from there progressed and now I've really been working on it hard so it's what I see myself in the future as, as a wiki keeper. Who would you say is pivotal in helping you train for this position obviously because you have to have certain drills and certain coaching for that but particularly? I've been working a lot with um, Ezra Poole at the Western Province uh, ground at Newlands. Okay. Uh, Kruger van Veek, he works with me there in um, Pretoria at the HPC. And then also Hilton, he helps me a lot uh, in the Proteus setup. Say for on an international tour, then he's the one that takes me aside and we go and do drills and things. And as a youngster coming into the side, uh, with a lot of the experienced people actually leaving now from the Proteus women's side, uh, how's it been as a youngster to come into that setup and that culture? It's been an amazing experience, uh, sort of learning a lot or as much as possible from the seniors, especially alongside Trish. She um, she's taught me a lot, just how to keep calm in the field and things like that. And coming into the team, obviously, it's a quite a, a senior role. Uh, the wiki keeper, you have to be the life of the party on the field, basically. Okay. And um, so that was quite daunting coming in as a youngster and sort of trying to keep the, the vibe alive uh, in the field. But again, it's one of those things, I think, as you settle into the game, then you get used to it and it becomes a little bit easier. Cool. So. Obviously, in your first international series, uh, what did you learn from the opposition, would you say? In, that, those were difficult circumstances because it was an international wicket. I had never played international cricket before. So learning uh, how to be a decent keeper on those low, slow wickets yes. was, was quite tough. Um, yeah, but I think also it was obviously the West Indies. Um, they were quite a powerful team. So it could be quite daunting as I think a fielding side yeah. against a team that could really hit the ball around the park. And just that's where my role sort of came in was to keep the, the field as calm and um, keep the bowlers sort of on their feet and keep them focused. Uh, it was tough because I was a, a youngster. So yeah. telling someone like Marazan Cup to keep <laughs> calm or whatever, or to keep alive in the field was a bit daunting, but I think I, think I got there. And your life must have changed a lot because obviously getting a CSA contract and um, straight out of school, straight into the, into the, into the national team. Yeah. What's that like? What's that life like? It's, it was it was a drastic change. I mean, the closest I'd come to international colours was the emerging emerging tour last year, April. Uh, we played a tri series against Australia and England. Um, but I think just going into the national setup, it's different. You get treated uh, like royalty almost. I mean, obviously we got, we got the nice flights and things like that, nice accommodation, and it's it's just good that they're they're treating us like that. Yeah. Um, it was a, a big change because uh, being away from home, I think I was home for five months of the year last yeah. year. So it is a big adjustment having to talk to your family over Skype or over the phone the whole time. But um, if you love it, then it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously touring all the time, there will be a short period where you do get to relax. So I want yeah. the, the, the fans to actually know you're off the field. And what oh, are yeah. some of the things that you like doing? Uh, maybe TV series you like to watch or music you like to <laughs> listen to? Um, well, actually, I, yeah, music is pretty much my other life. I mean, I love performing. I play a couple of instruments. Okay. Um, yeah, so I play a lot of music at home. I'm not a fan of series. I prefer movies because then it starts and finishes quickly. Cool. Um, yeah, but otherwise, I just sort of enjoy gym, beach, surfing, those sort of things. Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, with regards to movies, because I'm actually quite a movie buff myself, so oh, yeah. what is maybe the last movie that you watched or a, or a particular movie franchise that you enjoy? 
Actually, I think the last movie was Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's an amazing movie. Yeah. I recommend it. Um, yeah, but anything that sort of that uh, resonates with me. I mean, there's a movie called Chasing Mavericks. It's about a surfer who's just he's really persistent, and it's just movies like that that motivate me. And then I think, okay, cool, I really want to do well now. So it's just movies like that that really spark something in me. Thank you very much, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you.